Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jalen. Today's question is sent in by George. George says he has a column of data in column A that he needs to insert a dash in the middle of this column of data. When I talk to George some more, it turns out that he has a part number over here. It has three characters and then four numbers. I and mean, he wants to add an item description. And unfortunately, his table with the item descriptions has SKUs as the three part numbers, a dash, and the four numbers. Now this happens all the time. You get data from one system and from another system. Someone uses a dash, someone doesn't use a dash. So what we can do is basically insert a new column. I'll call it SKU2. What we want to do is grab the leftmost three characters from column A. So equal left of A2 comma 3. That'll get us just the text prefix. And then we'll use the ampersand sign and in quotes put quote dash quote and then another ampersand. And now we need to grab the middle portion of column A. We're going to start at character 4 for a length of 4. So we'll use the mid function, A2. We want to start at 4 and go for a length of 4. That basically will get us to the 5945. And you'll see here that I get JWH-5945. dash 5945. We want to copy that formula down, so I double click the fill handle and it gets copied down. And then we can insert a new column and do the description. Now, last Friday we talked about using VLOOKUP with the true parameter at the end. In this case, we need to use the false parameter that says that we need an exact match. So equal VLOOKUP, we'll go grab this SKU. The, our lookup table is over here in column I and J. Again, we want to make sure that's absolute, so I'll hit the F4 key to put the dollar signs in, second column, and then the word false. Basically, we'll grab our description for us, copy that down, double click the border between C and D, and we filled in all of the SKUs. And this is a very common situation where you're trying to do a VLOOKUP. One data set, the table might have an extra dash or leading or trailing spaces. If you need to get rid of leading or trailing spaces, I use the trim function. It's, it's very common that we have to go through and do some little tweak to the data, either adding a dash or taking out spaces in order to get the VLOOKUP to match. A bit frustrating, you can see that JWH5945 is the same as JWH-5945, but for Excel, we have to get those exactly equal. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.